Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing PSB's brand new Synchrony B600 bookshelf speakers. These absolutely stunning, stunning, the pinnacle of manufacturing and engineering techniques are superb. It is wonderful we get the opportunity to share these with you today. So firstly, it's a pair of bookshelf speakers. They're, they're, they're big, you know, they're no, not little. So with that, of course, there are two relatively large boxes, and one of them's left and one of them's right. So because they will be the same, obviously I can simply take one of these and quietly get rid of it. And concentrate on just one. Now the packaging for PSB has always been relatively modest, and you can see it's just a large brown carton, um, designed and engineered in Canada. Uh, the Synchrony and the B600, along with the PSB logo and a website. On one side we have got uh, scannable information for the serial number and model information, along with the fact that these are in their um, walnut finish. Okay. And then just an emulation of the model on the other side. Uh, as these are just taped closed with traditional sort of clear uh, packing tape, it's very, very straightforward to gain access. Now, first look at the packaging, of course, is that the speaker is sitting in the middle of a, a, a huge amount of closed cell foam, ensuring that they're going to be delivered to you in one piece. When it's packed like this, the easiest thing is to roll the product over carefully and then just lift the box off the top, revealing the speaker, rather than trying to lift it out. Now, on the, what was the bottom, we have, uh, you know, mould retention and a desiccant bag and stuff like that. We've got a, a Synchrony brochure. Well, this is more about a, a setup and user manual more than anything. In a clear plastic bag, talking about both the bookshelf speaker and their new floor standing speakers. Rolling it over. Carefully taking the closed cell foam. We've got the grill, and then left with the speaker itself. Pausing for a moment, we'll have a quick look at the grill. Now this is in a separate cardboard carton. Again, there's a couple of anti-mould and mildew sort of tickets. And it, the grill itself has its own desiccant moisture absorbent bag, and the grill itself. The grill has a signature PSB logo, so it's rather than a two-tone, which is utilised in some of the lesser range, this has a, an elegance to it. Uh, their Synchrony speakers are stunning, absolutely stunning. So they sort of add a little bit of elegance to their top range. The grill itself has a top little plastic um, layer on the top with Synchrony um, screen printed. It's curved and cut away with obviously acoustically transparent fabric and the cutaway itself um, helps to protect the grill and keep it all nice and rigid. Now concentrating on the speaker with a good oversized bag, a couple of pieces of sticky tape and then a soft polish bag to protect the beautiful finish and transit. Given the fact that the speaker is upside down we're going to pause and have a look at the isolation feet. Now these are actually brilliantly engineered and it's designed so that if this is sitting on a stand and it's a flat stand or a hard surface it absorbs all of the microscopic vibration associated with the workings of the speaker. Uh, hang around for some close-up photographs and I'll show you the sort of the red tinge because it's a it's a, a suspension point it's not just a rubber foot and it's wonderful to see the attention to detail that PSP has for these beautiful speakers. There are four of those and then at the back we've got a uh, emulation of the serial number. Carefully rolling it over onto its top. Get rid of the last disc and bag and reveal the speaker. The beautiful walnut finish and the, now it's a, by the way, it's a very, very high density MDF with heaps of bracing. Uh, air management throughout the cabinet is utilized through those bracing elements. It's designed to basically never vibrate, okay? Then it's backed up with 
an aluminium uh, front baffle. It means that PSB is managing the reflection off the surface, as well as the cabinet and other things like that. It's decoupled so that the cabinet and the front of the drive unit are separate from a a manif well, from a, a build perspective, maximizing the uh, vibration elimination and the reflection that, tri that PSB is trying to manage as well. You'll see at a glance that the speakers are in an odd um, uh, location. The tweeter is below the mid-bass driver. Now this is very common with PSB as they like to ensure that the bass frequencies are less likely to be influenced from the surface beneath them. Uh, and the tweeter is more likely to be at an appropriate height for the listening position. So it's wonderful to see that they've uh, continued with that sort of iconic design. The tweeter is a 1 inch titanium dome and the mid bass driver is a 6.5 inch carbon fibre one. But unlike most carbon fibre drive units that you may see some ridging or, or other things, this is relatively smooth with a beautiful lightweight uh, dust cap. The elegance in design with this shiny sort of ring around it is also about tapering the aluminium front. So it's not just about a design element um, from an aesthetic perspective, but from an acoustic perspective, as PSB manage the sound wave entering the room and with the front, the reflection off its surface. Uh, the speakers themselves, they're um, you know, 55 to 20,000 hertz as far as their uh, frequency response. Um, if I remember, they're about 6 ohms, so you know, relatively in the middle of most amplifiers' capabilities. And they're 15 to 200 watts, so a lovely sort of uh, array of easy to drive features as far as the speaker. You don't have to have some wonderfully big amplifier to get the most out of it. And if you happen to have a small little thing uh, from a second system, it's going to make the most of these speakers as well. Tilting it forward, we get an understanding of the depth of the speaker and the beautiful finish in this walnut wood grain. The wood grain itself, looking at it in detail, there's no seam lines, which is very uncommon when we see um, a speaker of this price point. Now at the back, we see a very centralised port. Now again, that couples with the bracing for the air and pressure management within the cabinet. We also see some brand new five-way binding posts from PSB. They have the classic sort of plastic plugs in them to stop bananas from being utilised, but they can be very easily removed with a fingernail or similar. And then we have a beautifully good quality bridging clip between the two. The speakers themselves can be single wired or bi-wired or bi-amped, all to give you the right flexibility depending on the componentry that you have in your system. Oh, actually the crossover network has also been brilliantly, brilliantly designed. Um, and again, with a bookshelf speaker of this quality, it's important that every little thing is, is thought about. And it's wonderful, absolutely wonderful that PSB have done exactly that. Every element has been thought about. The wood grain, the location of the speakers, the technology that they've used in the drive unit, the technology that they've used in the crossover. Even the binding posts have been brilliantly, brilliantly well thought out. And it's wonderful to have had the opportunity to share these brand new PSB Synchrony B600 speakers unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.